let's do um, this story real quick. Does it, uh, anybody have a sense? Like I, I don't, so we have this Trump kind of weird threat about federal authority next week. And there are these federal military police that have been arresting protesters in Portland. This is extremely disturbing. Let's play uh, one clip that shows these federal authorities arresting protesters and then another of them refusing to answer questions from the press. Thirteen and fourteen. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What is going on? Who are you? NLG will get you out. What's your name? Tell us your name. What's your name? Okay, you're fine. We'll get you out. Bro, what? All right. We got you, friend. We got you. Oh, fuck. NLT. You minivan. just violated their They're rights. Rented minivan. Oh. That's very, Kidnapping okay. Him. You just violated their rights. Oh. All right. That's, that is, that's paramilitary shit. All right, what's the next one? How are we supposed to know who you are? How are we supposed to know you're not kidnapping us and your civilians kidnapping us? Yeah, these are public threats. They yeah, you should, a, people should, I'm, you know what? They drove through a risk. Good for throwing something at that. Honestly, like, let's clarify. You want, let's some civil disobedience. Let's clarify who's in that van and who paid for that van. Like that, you can't be picking up people off the street without us having a clear understanding of whose authority that's done under. So I applaud whoever escalated that. And if this stuff continues, like it's going to continue escalating. Jesus. Yeah. And this is without the permission of the mayor or the governor, according to reports I've seen about it. They have not requested federal presence in any of the areas. I mean, who are the federal? Let me read this real quick. President Trump claimed federal agents deployed to Portland have arrested protesters and calmed the chaos. Uh, who are these federal officers? Four federal law enforcement agencies, including U.S. Marshals, Federal Protection Sur- Protective Service, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and Homeland Security Investigations, have rotated efforts through Portland since early July. The U.S. Marshal Service is the lead agency. It's not clear how many federal officers are currently in Portland to help protest. In addition to uniformed law enforcement, court records indicate plain clothed federal officers have been working the crowd, of course. Calm the protest. Yeah, nothing makes me feel calm like seeing one of my friends get hauled off in an unmarked vehicle. They're there ostensibly to protect federal property and personnel. And what can federal officers do that police can't, unlike Portland police, which is subject to a court order limiting the use of tear gas, federal agents can use a variety of crowd crowd control devices. Apparently they can use minivans to pick people up off the streets too. Um, and less lethal munitions. Who is holding the federal officers accountable for their actions? Federal law enforcement must comply with agency protocol and standards for use of force. The U.S. Marshal Service asked for an internal investigation of this weekend's incident involving a federal officer's use of a less than lethal round that struck and seriously injured a Portland protester. The case has been referred to the DOJ Inspector General, which we all know Trump's been purging Inspector General, so we know what kind of investigation we'll get there. Exactly. Right. You know what? This is setting a precedent. So when people complain about whatever order Trump's about to sign, he can be like, oh, it's fine. They've already been doing it. Right. That's right. This can't stand. Ted Wheeler has this to get the city stand. under control. Yeah, no. The local officials need to not just say that they haven't been invited. They need to cause an absolute ruckus yeah. and demand that they leave and also demand access to these people that have been arrested in this way. This is absolutely yeah. unacceptable. Yeah. Local officials do need to get their cities under control, but not the way Trump is saying. They need to get under control what agencies and what feds are allowed to go in there and do what with whose permission. And uh, the Pacific Northwest in particular is kind of terrifying and insane, right? Like 
it's the image is like, oh, everyone's a liberal, Portlandia, put a bird on it or whatever. But it's full of Nazis and white supremacist militia groups. And I would not be surprised if there was some overlap between that and uh, the troops you see going in right now. We don't know. I mean, I just, I, I mean, that's, there's a lot of different dynamics. But well, I mean, this one thing dynamic- just specifically, I mean, and it's, and it's very telling. It's very, very telling. Well, and it's so, not- it's horrifying when you have, you know, these militia groups that wear shit that looks that's similar right. to that. That's stuff. exactly right. Like, and there have been some overlaps that have been documented um, in some of the police departments specifically. Mm-hmm. Oh, certainly. Um, 